Hello, uh, this is Kiki doing uh, part two of Army Man World at War. Uh, continuation of the last mission. Uh, this time our goal is to take out an enemy uh, communications tower, which is guarded by a twin 50 caliber machine gun turret. Uh, nothing special or fancy. Uh, basically last video I kind of cut myself off a little too short there. Uh, but I was talking about the uh, darkness, as you can see here when you're actually playing it uh, on a small screen or something. Uh, it can become a little bit of a bother to see where you need to go. So, we wait to brighten that up. If I can find one. Uh... The game does like equip you with binos and whatnot. Also, uh, you can hear footsteps. Uh, I couldn't get recorded due to uh, the the line-in issue, but uh, generally, uh, you can hear footsteps rather loudly, let you know something is coming, or if you're near something. And says so on easier difficulty, the uh, enemies aren't as bright. Uh, Basically, this is like Sarge's Heroes difficulty of uh, enemy AI, you know, just normal mode. Uh, on a later version of, of the series, they, they can get rather aggressive, uh, where they can actually start advancing on your positions, rolling, ducking, all sorts of stuff like you. Uh, but for right now, it's just really, really basic, simple AI. And here's a show off kind of how the binos work. They work like a sniper rifle. Just kind of you, know, you look around, browse around. I don't see anything coming out yet. And I see that 50 caliber there. Now, since the enemy uh, could use that 50 cal on me, uh, well, I figured maybe I'll sneak. Uh, well, there goes that idea. I was going to hug against the wall. But uh, it didn't work out that well. And I forgot the button to use the 50 cal. Uh, silly me. And then I just got bazookaed. And so <laughs> he bazookaed uh, his buddy. Uh, let's try this again. Now, the reason they mentioned that 50 cal is because they intended you to use that. Uh, think uh, Medal of Honor uh, that has a lot of automated uh, machine, uh, large machine gun screens where you just instantly you man it and then all of a sudden you have like a flood of like f five to six guys coming to your position and you just mow them, they're, they're all just right in view for the gun so you can just mow them down for whatever reason Whoever stole whose mechanic, I'm, I'm leaving that to judge, but I'm just saying it's the same mechanic. But we'll go ahead and, uh, man, oh, they're coming out again. This time we'll man, man the 50 cal. Not as many of them flooded out this time. They're flaying out a little less zany. And they're not the most observant, apparently. So that's kind of a good thing. Unlike last time where they went bonkers. Now, please note that I am a green soldier and I just used a tan turret there. That, again, means... That could have been something that could have been used for a MMO, first-person shooter type of game, right there. And apparently three or four of them ran past me while I was looking around. And just to make sure that nobody else suddenly runs out, I'm going to check, check it out. And somebody did actually pop out, oddly enough. So I'm going to take him out. And since everybody else started running back, I might as well finish them off too. 
but see, but that right there is what I was meaning by. There's a lot of things that is in this series that could have possibly 3DO could have made a a first-person shooter MMO, uh, and yet they didn't. I, I don't understand why, because they practically had everything coded, ready to go. It could have worked. I'm quite sure they would have had a good enough player base to play it. It just, uh, I mean, there was Army Man, uh, the RTS version, that came out okay. It's rather a popular series. I mean, it's a game, so why couldn't they have brought in a first-person shooter line? I mean, it would have worked for an early days uh, Battlefield 2 or something. And, uh, basically we're inside the camp now. Not the most observant enemy still. Luckily enough. Th this AI does change. Uh, it is, like I said, it's easy now, but the AI gets really, uh, intelligent, uh, later on in the series. Which is kind of strange. They, they go from really, you know, dulled down thing, and then Sarge's Heroes kind of have a similar dulled down AI, and then they have, like, on this version, that, I mean, this series, they get from really dumbed down to, uh, pretty darn scary AI. And, uh, w once it get further down the road, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But that won't be filled till projects down the road. Uh, well, the base is cleared out, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish off the gun. I mean, finish off killing the uh, communications tower, and then I will call it a video. Uh, so this will be Kinky signing out. Uh, thank you. And uh hope you enjoy the series and keep going. Uh thank you.